Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on there, driver? Uh, everything's doing good so far. <laughs> What's up? Barely no traffic, so. Oh, you still? Are you still driving? You you still driving? I I I actually I stopped for food because there was this barbecue place that I liked. So oh, why you? I stopped. Throwing, why you? Why you didn't? For my friends. Why you? Why you didn't call me? Why Why you didn't call me? That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. Yeah. Five, four, three. Yes, sir. We are doing it live. Thank you, Bill O'Reilly. I appreciate that. Giving me one of the best drops in here. Well, what's going on, everybody? Lockout men, back again with another video. And um, I'm glad that you guys are here. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show, the show where the train just keeps on running. And this is also special because it's simulcast with the LOM community. So welcome, community. I will acknowledge you guys shortly. Uh, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button so when you know when I drop, you'll just come right on up in here. Yo, don't forget the likes for this video, man. The likes are free. And if you want to support your boy, you can definitely do that. The cash app, dollar sign, lockout, man. Hook a brother up with something to drink, man. Uh, or eat, for that matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm thirsty. I'm always thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Well, in today's podcast interview, I am bringing a young lady that been in the game since 2016. And she's from Puerto Rico. She got that Spanish fly, that Spanish mommy. And you know what? I'm going to I'm, I'm going to let her. I'm going to let her introduce herself. So, I want you to do me a favor. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself in Spanish. Go. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Hi, eh, hola, ¿cómo están? Mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Shaira Rivera y llevo guiando desde el 2016. Y nada, estoy sumamente contenta de estar aquí. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be live here with you guys. Ooh. I had the slightest idea what you just said, but I like it. I like it. I, I don't know what you said, but I like it. Welcome to the show, Shaira. Um, what's, what's, what's going on, lady? What's going on? How, how, how's your day going so far? It's actually doing pretty good. Um, I came out of vacation not that long ago. So, you know, I'm trying to get this money. So I'm literally hustling <laughs> as much as I can. So uh, that's what's up. All right. So let's, uh, let's jump into it for a little bit. Where, where, where are you from exactly? Like where, where you grew up? Where, where, where are you from? Well, I literally, I was born and raised in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I've basically been living my life there until I was, wow, like 31, 32, basically. And then I came here to the U.S. Yeah. I wanted to become a truck driver. So I literally had to go through school and get everything through the DMV. And here I am. All right. All right. I want to welcome people in the uh, community. Dominion, Dominion 7295. What's going on? Your boy is here. Our boy's here. Our boy's here. D Nitty. What's going on, bro? What's going on? Yeah, I'm talking to her now. I'm talking to her now. That's that's who I got on the interview for the day, man. Um, <laughs> and forever read the nerd trucker. He says, how's it going, buddy? I sent you the email about, Hol I mean, Hollow Man earlier. Okay, okay, I got you, bruh. 
I got you, bro. I'm still waiting for that. Uh, I'm I'm still waiting for that coffee, though. I'm still waiting for that coffee, man. I'm I'm still waiting. Send I send did. send me the coffee, man. And I, I I would get on the job first thing in the morning. I already sent the email out, so I'm just waiting on them to uh to respond. So as soon as they respond, as soon as they respond, I'll hook you up, bro. I'm just saying. But I'm waiting on that coffee, man. Come on. Come on. I'm thirsty up over here. Uh Shire, man. So you you was born and raised uh in Puerto Rico. How, how what was life like in Puerto yeah. Rico, man? Oh, very sunny, hot, and a lot of beach. Hanging out, we are very friendly, and we love gatherings and party and music and culture. And it's just, it's an amazing country. I love my island, and I love my people. What can I say? All right. We're very friendly. <laughs> so what so what you was doing before before you got in the trucking and before you came over over to the states? What what what, what occupation you was doing back then? It's really funny. I actually I uh I studied art history and then I decided to study culinary art and I was actually a pastry chef like for 7 years. And basically, I got in into trucking because of money. I mean, when I saw what a truck driver could do per week, I was stunned. And that was basically my goal ticket, I guess, what I thought it would be anyway. Well, you see this. So I, I decided to. I, I see you guys. I, I see you. I, I see you. And this is like. This is like the carrot dangling over the rabbit. You know what I'm saying? Here's the carrot. This is what you can get. Come on over. Come on over. But then when y'all come over here and y'all realize that in the first year is 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 not all it's not all that high. You know you gotta put in you gotta put in yeah. the work. You gotta put in the you you gotta put in yeah. the work to get yeah. to to get that money that, that y'all saw. That's very true. So Yeah, that is very true. It's like we actually, it's like people don't actually realize how much time we have to be like from our families and just working. And I mean, even the work itself, like we work 14 hours per day, seven days per week. And, you know, just a normal job, it's like five days and just a few hours. So it's like, just because of the work, you know, it's it's a lot of things that we have to leave and just work, work, work. And that's what people don't actually realize. It's not the money that you're getting. It's everything that you have to stop doing in order to get that money. Mm -hmm. It's it's something that it takes a lot from your life. But it's like it's a chance that you either take it or you leave it because that's the only thing you can do. What all what what all that you you know back in 2016 what what all that you had to do to sacrifice to 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 get to where you at right now Basically I love my country I love my family uh but it's like I was taking care of my grandmother and she was in a home well, I had to put her in a home and literally it was like $1800 per month and I was the only one. So basically, it's like I needed the money and I wanted a good life for her and for myself. So I had I, I did what I had to, you know, right. it was it, it was a it was a survival, basically what I'm trying to say in my case. To me, it was survival. OK, OK. Any kids, any 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 kids, any any husbands back? I mean, back in Puerto Rico. Nope. Just my dog, and he is right here with me. Oh, okay, that's what's <laughs> He's up. He's my everything. All right, so yeah. so you yeah. so you left Puerto Rico, you came over to the states to to, to get your CDL. Uh, when you was in Puerto Rico, though, and you you was inspired to get your CDL, what what was it that like inspired you? What you just saw trucks going up and down the road, and you just said one day you just wanted to be that. Actually, it's really interesting 
I have to admit that I've only seen one woman in Puerto Rico. I'll never forget it. She had a trailer that said Transformer, and I think it was a freight liner or a Volvo. Mm-hmm. That was literally like the colors of Optimus Prime. Okay. And it was a lady, and she was driving it. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's, like, so original. And, like, I have never seen that, neither a man nor a woman. But yet again, she was the only lady that I saw. But my inspiration, basically, was that I had a friend. And he was actually studying um, infirmary. And then he told me about what he was making and, like, all the process that he had to go through to get his CDL. And he told me that they were getting more people to work at the company that he was working for. So I said, well, you know, like, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, if I don't try it, I'll never know. And, you know, I mean, the baddest thing that could happen is that I don't get it. And then I go back to working in the same place I was before. Okay. So you just. Sometimes you just have to take the plunge, you know. You just have to. You just had to walk. You, at you it. just have to walk on blind faith and see where it leads you to, right? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, and have faith. So you, uh, so you took that blind faith. You got on the got on the plane. You made it over here to the states. Where did you go to? Uh, where did you go to get your CDL at? Well, at first, I had to get the written exam. And uh, back then, CFI, uh, as in contract trade thing, they had, it was like a um, scholarship, basically, for Puerto Ricans. Okay. So, basically, they would pay for everything, including the plane tickets. The only thing that you had to pay for was your food and uh, the license. Okay. That was it. Everything else they took care of. Okay. So that's what I did basically, and so, uh, but they did give me all the material of the CDL beforehand. Wait, did you so did you have I, to pay you you had to pay out of pocket for your CDL, or did or did no, CF they actually or did, did CFI paid out of pocket? They paid out of pocket. Uh, basically, it's like a contract that you signed with them and. It stipulated that you had to work with them like for a year. I think it was okay. So you had to so to pay, to, to pay it off. Now, did did you did you fulfill that contract? Will CFI? Yes, I did. I actually, yeah, I, I stayed with them almost four years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now coming now yeah. now being a female coming into uh, CFI, I, I, it was another female uh, driver. That just uh, that just got a uh, contract or at least on with uh, CFI. And she had she had posted a video about, uh, you know, the orientation where she had to go and do the drug test. Now, back then, you came mm-hmm. you came in there in 2016. Is the is the drug mm-hmm. testing hair follicles uh, was the hair follicle drug test was uh, was was a thing back then or or no? It still is. It was back then in 2016, and it's still now, because I came back in uh, January 2020, and they did it again. How m- so, yeah, it's still a thing. How much hair? <laughs> because they, 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 lobbed off, they, they lobbed off a lot on, on, this, uh, on this one female driver, but how much hair did they lob off of you? It's supposed to be, I think it's like half a gram, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. So what I told them is not to do it like directly, like on top of my head. Okay. So that once it grows out or something, it's not that noticeable. But it is funny because when you go and get your hair done, like my hairdresser, he's like, okay, like what the heck happened here? You know, he can t- he, <laughs> like, he can what's tell. What's going on with this thing? He can tell. Yeah, so, he can tell. So, yeah. uh, so the hair follicle test, the hair follicle test. How 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 long did uh, how far back did they say that they go back with uh with a hair follicle test? Actually, um, I thought it was like six months, but 
when I was talking to one of them, they told me it's like two months, I believe. Okay. So it's really not excessively that far off. Okay. And you, uh, of course, you know, you coming from uh, coming from the islands, you coming from the islands, you, you didn't have to worry about, uh, you didn't have to worry about not passing. Am I correct? Yeah, I've I've never done sorts of drugs whatsoever. Like Smoke only if my it, 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 <laughs> oh yeah, Snoop Dogg, I love him. <laughs> um, yeah, no, like I, I've I've never you know tried it before, nothing like that. So I was not worried at all. All right, all right. That was not my problem. All right, so that's what's up. But I I actually I I actually do know one person that did flunk it because of that so yeah all right it's like you you got to be careful and you just you know so try to be smart about it i guess so what so what was the experience with uh cfi did you did you start did you start as a company driver and then you converted over to uh to leasing with them or you just you you went boss to the wall leasing with them Actually, I the whole amount of time that I was with CFI, I only stayed as a company driver. Um, and to be quite honest, like the pay wasn't excessively great. But yet again, it's like I felt very comfortable. I love that company. I love the people working there. And I just I felt like we were a family, so I guess that's why I stayed so long. Okay, and you uh, and you stay you stay for what three years? Four? What you what four and a half that you've been in? Yeah, again, but three years though. Yeah, I, I I I would have to say around almost four years, basically. Okay, now because now literally like I. Now you, I left a few months back. Now, now during the, during your time with CFI, you was a company driver, though. Am I correct? Yes, I've been always a company driver, and for a period of time, I was a finisher too. Okay, uh, explain what a finisher is. A uh, finisher is either a female or male truck driver that they take in newcomers of you know students oh you was a trainer have basically yeah no experience oh okay you... and basically what they do uh oh you kind of kind of breaking up the bars is into the bar the bars is broken up uh oh you're breaking up you're breaking up <laughs> all right you you back can you hear yeah, me yeah I can, can i can hear can you can you hear me yeah i can hear you uh, okay. So you was a trainer for CFI then too, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, I had a few students. What was what was the experience with uh with some of the students over there, uh when you was training? Actually, I I had a really good relationship with a few of them, but it's funny because I have to admit that some of them they really scared the bejesus out of me like really and after the last one i said i am done <laughs> like wow. yeah like I, I i i i need to come out of this one you know because it was just scary wow yeah what, it's like, so you say the last yeah. so you say the last one what was what what happened if if you don't mind what what happened with the last one uh, that made you get out of it well first of all it was horrible. Like, she basically just couldn't park at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, no straight backing, no lane changing, no 90, no 45. And then what really freaked me out was that it was winter time and we were going up, I think it was like I-95 or I-75. Um, and we were getting out of Virginia. And then it was snowing. And she saw a snow flower vehicle, you know, towing and moving all the snow on the floor. And, like, she somewhat freaked out and starting zigzagging the truck. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, are you kidding me? It's like, you know, it's like you can't do that in a truck 
in winter time. You know, you can either do a jackknife or just lose control or God knows what else. So that really freaked me out. And she did it more than once. Oh, it's God. like, it's, it's, it's very important for people to understand that if something happens to you while you're driving, you need to recuperate very quickly. So it's like, you need to have gaze. 24 7 it doesn't matter what happens it's like you need to react to it just not freak out and start crying and paralyze and just don't do nothing okay so that's very important okay and you say and that this... was something that i thought she didn't have and you say this was a female so what was she able to uh mm -hmm. was she able to make it through or you 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 you, you told them that you you felt that she wasn't ready yeah, I, I I went to the department and I told them, hey, you know, I I understand that she has like one week left of training, but I think you need to get another trainer because you can't this do is it. not working out. Not for me and not for her, you know. That's... Maybe if she gets another trainer, maybe they can make her see things differently or be better with her, whatnot. I don't know, but... You know, and like, let her have a chance with somebody else. How long? How because it's not working out for me. How long you been? How long you been training with them? Just about as long as you've been there, or or less? No, more? no. I yeah, I I did it like for a year, less than a year, maybe. Okay, okay. Then that 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 was more than enough for me. What was what was the I said no. What was the variance? More more guys or more females? Um actually since I'm a female, I only told only them that I would train, train females. females. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I I did not want to go through the whole hassle thing of if something would have happened, you know, like a guy coming on me or something like that, mm -hmm. like I I didn't want to go through all that, so I just I wanted to stay safe. Oh, okay. So that's why I asked only females. All right. So how how was it? Uh, well, we know the story about the one female, but what was what was the what was the stay like? What was the vibe like between you and uh you and uh, and some of the women there? Because you know, I, being confounded in a in a in a truck you know they they say that females they get along but they 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 don't get along y'all y'all have y'all certain ways that y'all have y'all certain ways y'all want it, to be done and yeah how how was how was it, the living it, on the truck it's kind of funny that you say that because to be quite honest i was trained by two different trainers and they were both male mm -hmm. so it i think everyone goes through the same thing it doesn't matter whether if it's a male or a female especially because you don't know that person at first like sometimes you can get a really awesome vibe between you guys and then it's like you feel like you've known each other for a very long time or you've been friends with them for a very long time and you can have a great gimmick and sometimes it's the complete opposite you know it's like they tell you that they don't understand you but Sometimes it is because they're also too nervous because they're doing things that they have never done before. So they are under a lot of pressure. Okay. You know, it's like, because, you know, like everyone wants to pass. So they always are thinking like, am I going to do it? Am I not going to pass? A little, or little bit what's going to happen? A little bit impatient, you think? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, and just the stress about am I doing good am I doing wrong so I would just tell them like always like you're doing very good and then I would just put like videos for them so that they they can get everything like the knowledge they need like for the hours of service mm -hmm. or how to put chains and all that you know there's a lot of uh, material that you can learn and you can look up in YouTube and things like that, that they can be very helpful. So I just, I try to give them like a little piece of what they're getting. And I literally try to prepare them 
for them to be on their own. Okay, that's what's up. It, that's what's up. It's another, yeah, it's, it's another bowl game once you're alone. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That's why I tell everybody to throw everything you learn, throw it out the window when you get out here, man. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like you, you forget about everything. It's like, Starting from ground zero. Exactly. So yeah. All right. So Shire, mm -hmm. man, what um so you you back in twenty sixteen, you coming out here, you fresh to the game and all like that. How did you handle when how how did you handle when you came up against uh veteran truck drivers that try to discourage you? It's just I've I've learned that every company is different and every Experience, it's going to be different, even though they're both in the same company. Uh, sometimes it takes longer for some people, and sometimes it's quicker to others. It's like everything in life, you know, it's like don't get discouraged, keep on, you know, push yourself, and just don't lose faith and just, you know, Try to do the best that you can. Okay. And I promise you, you're going to get there. You definitely will. You definitely will, man. All right. So, yeah. so see, uh, so you was with CFI. You rocked out with him for, uh, for four years. And now you decided to leave, um, and try your hand at leasing. What, uh, why, why did you, uh, why did you leave the company that you felt that was so good to you? uh to go and try your hand with leasing because don't cfi uh have a leasing program there too yes they do um the reason why i left and i did a lease program with another company is because i thought that they were offering me a lot more than what cfi would because basically cfi pays you by the mile mm-hmm so even if you're a lease owner, um, you would get paid. I don't know what it is now. I think it was like a dollar and seven cents per mile. Oh, that's and the company yeah. that I'm leasing, I know. I don't know if it has gone up or what, but that's what I remember. Um, so this lease company that I'm at right now, basically they pay me a 90% of the load okay. value. So for me, obviously, that's a lot better, and it's a lot more money, and that's what I was striving for. So that's why I love CFI. Okay. I mean, believe you me, I still call them from time to time to see how they're doing because, you know, it's it's like part of my family and my friends, and I really appreciate them, and I love them. So, so night. It's like that's that. So ninety percent of the load. Uh, well, first thing first, how, how long have you been with the? Co you don't have to mention the company that you work for, but how long have you been with? Okay. How long have you been with the company? And can you actually give us a breakdown of, you know, a average pay? Um, I've been with the company. I would have to say three months, going to four. Um, and basically like the worst that I've gotten so far with everything taken off, it's like the worst it's been like 1400 Okay. and the best that I've had, it's been 2,500, 2,700, Ooh. like $3,000. Okay. But so, e even on the, yeah. even on the low end is still good. I mean, 1400, I mean, now you're talking mm -hmm. Now you talking about now you talking about fourteen hundred after after everything was taken out, right? You you went home with fourteen hundred, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. So yeah. even even on yeah. the low end, that's still that's still not bad. And then on the and then on the best side, we looking at close to what three? You said three thousand at, at at your best. Yeah. Woo. Yep. 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 Man, you like, a runner. Like I, I've noticed. You you are you are a hustler out here. What's up? Man. Well, basically what I've I've noticed in this company is that the value of the load doesn't necessarily mean whether if it's a long load or a short load. You get paid um, whatever like right you now, get paid I'm, whatever the you get paid whatever the load is paying. So, exactly. So, so it like, for example, it, it can be a load that's like 
uh, 400 miles, but it's paying me $1,800 or $2,500. And you get 90% you know? of that. But exactly, yes. Ooh. So uh, uh, out of that, basically, they take the payment of the truck and everything that comes with right. it, like insurance right. and, you know, uh the service fee that they're charging me, it's only the 10%. Okay. And basically everything else, they just, they put in the, how do you say, in the pay slip, and they just give, they hand it to you, and you look everything that they deduct from your check. Okay. But, yeah, it's, it's been pretty good. Man. I, like, I, I don't, I can't. I cannot complain. I I I, I, I should. I don't think you should time. complain about that. Shit, like I said, even on uh, even on the low end, it's still a good. It's still a good paycheck. That's that's crazy. So the uh, so you jump. So the, of course you jump in the lease because of the because of the money and the company that you rocking out with is is damn sure paying you a, paying you a lot better than than what CFI ever could. You know what I'm saying? Is this yeah. a is this a mom and yeah. is this a mom and pop company that you that you uh, leasing through? Or it, I, I don't think this is a me- this this can't be a me- uh, mega carrier that you leased onto, right? Well, basically, what we do is we haul reefer for a mega company. Okay. So basically, it's like uh, how can I say it? It's like they have different loads of reefer that they cannot cover. Mm-hmm. So basically what they do is that they give those loads to us so that they don't lose that account, I'm assuming. Okay. That's what, okay. what, what goes around. Okay, that's what's up. So this company, I, I, I believe they have like 75 trucks, mm-hmm. up to 100. I don't think it's more than that. Are you? So it's really not that Big. Are are you buying? Are you lease purchase to own, or you just lease, or you just lease in the yeah. truck? No, it's lease to own. Oh, so you but lease after three years? Yeah, I gotta pay. I think it's the thirty percent of the value of the truck. Oh, okay. What I would have to give in, in order to keep the truck, and if I don't want it, then what they do is. They will give me a brand new one. Okay, that's what's up. Bees knees trucking stepped up in yeah. the building. What's going on? He says you're powering loads. So yeah, she's probably doing a power only. Now, as far as the truck though, uh, as far as the truck, mm-hmm. uh, how much are you paying? Are are you paying monthly or are you paying weekly for the truck? Yeah, I wish it was monthly. No, it's weekly. Uh, it, it, and I'm paying you. Know, Eleven hundred, oh. which I know it's a lot, but yet again, I'm I'm making the well, money. That's so the, yeah, really, you make right it good. Now, yeah, I, yeah. Even uh, it, I don't care. Yeah, even after everything you said, that's uh, you say even everything that you everything that comes out, uh, you still going home with with uh pretty good paychecks. So man, that's, yeah. How did you how how did you find this company? Uh, it was a friend, actually. Uh, he thought about changing companies. And since I wanted a better paycheck quickly, I, you know, he told me, like, if you want to try it out, then just see and, you know, go and look for yourself. So that's exactly what I did. I won and I took the leap of faith. And that leap of faith is pretty, that leap of faith is making uh, making pretty good for your bank. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yeah, for sure. What uh, I'm I'm blessed. What as far as as for women as for women in this trucking industry, what what are the what are the uh, what are the obstacles that you guys face, in your opinion, on a day to day basis? I would have to say, like, the only major thing is sexual harassment, I think. Especially, well, I mean, I can say that for myself. But other than that, like, not nothing really. I mean, it, this is not a really hard job. It's just it takes a lot from you. And I think we can all do it very well. Like, if we put everything onto it, 
like everything in life. So, yeah, I just, I would have to say, like, the downside for us, it's basically that, you know, the harassment. I think that's the only thing I can come up with. Okay. Because other than that, it's pretty good. All right. So, since you said that, uh, the last four years, overall, would you say that it's been easy for you, the last four years of trucking? easy i i don't think this is an easy job i mean i think people are assuming it is because we drive the whole day it's very consuming like your energy and your time and time away from your family which in our case in my culture it's something that is very difficult for us because we're very close to our friends and family and sometimes it's like they think they can do it because it seems to be something easy and then they realize it's really not that easy because literally mentally it's you know you have to leave everything at home do and it's it's hard i have to admit to me it's it's been hard. Do you think women do you do you think women has to work twice as hard as men to to get that respect that uh get that respect out here? Um I you know, I think times are changing. Uh and to be quite honest, I don't think that we have to set the bar greater than anyone i think we just like if you do it you do it because of your personal growth Mm -hmm. and you want to do it you know just to maybe empower women but i i just do it to help others you know and i'll help even a guy if i see him struggle doing whatever it is that if i know how to help him out i'll because i'm i'm that way um but I really, I don't, I don't think we have to work harder. Okay. Because work is still work. I think it's basically the same thing. It's just, it's it's the period of time that you adapt to get things done. Because, mm-hmm. you know, it might be, it might take you a little longer at first. But after you get the hang of it, I think you're good. All right. I don't know. David Garcia, what's going on? He says, uh, making that cheddar. What's up, bro? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, we have uh we have Shaira here on the on the on the uh interview with us. Uh definitely good conversation. Hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? She's a she was a trainer and now she's uh now she's a lease op making that money, making that money. Came out there from Puerto Rico and uh decided to get here into the States and um and do something big for her family. Shout out to uh shout out to you and your family. Um so what do you think? What, what do you think? Uh what do you think, Shire, in the next decade or so? How how do you think the industry gonna change? Um to be quite honest, I don't think the industry is getting harder and harder harder every year uh, because of DOT laws are getting, you know, stronger and more harder, I guess, Uh, stricter. Um, So, and the pay, it's not getting up. Like, I've been talking to other truck drivers and they told me like the amount of money that they used to do before it was a lot better than what it is right now. Yeah. So yeah, the money. I, yeah. I really, I, I, I really don't know how things are going to go, but I do know one thing it's that they have to start changing even a little, you know, cause it's, it's a very, Oh my goodness. How do you say that in English? Um, you have to sacrifice a lot in order to do this job, especially if you are over the road truck driver. And, uh, you know, some people are just not willing to do it. And there are other people that are, but basically it's because they were born and raised in that environment. So for them, it comes natural. But for someone that 
you know, they're doing it just because of the money and whatnot. It's just, it's a lot harder. So I think that if things would be, it would, they would get better. I think mm -hmm. they would have a lot more people eventually. Oh, okay. Okay. And probably they would work a lot harder as well. That's what's up, man. All right, so if you could go back, uh, if you can go back and start all over again, would you would have gotten to trucking? And if and if not, would have been what would have been your plan B if you didn't get into trucking? For sure, yeah, I would do it in a heartbeat. I mean, I've seen this whole country, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous place. And I love nature. So for me, this, uh, you know, it's been awesome. Um, if I would have not been a truck driver, for sure, I would have tried opening up either a bakery or a restaurant. Okay. Basically. Okay, that's what's a up. A food truck or something like that. That's what's <laughs> up. Yeah, for sure. Shaira, everybody. I appreciate you coming on, uh, Shair. Thank you very much. Shout out to my man D Nitty okay. for uh, for uh, uh, suggesting this young lady to come on and uh, chop it up with me. The the lease, whatever, what, wherever you at, man, stay with that company. Stay with that company. I, yes. I, if you yes, if you can, if you can retire from that bad boy, let retire from that company. They. I mean, that, they they hooking you up on the money side, real real good. Uh, what yeah. what tips what what tips do you have for uh, new females that's coming out in this industry? What what tips or an advice that you have? I'm sorry, repeat the question again. I said, I barely. I, I, I says uh, I says what tips or advice that you that you have for oh. for uh, young ladies that's coming into the uh, that's coming into the uh, business. Just you know, concentrate on your goal, stay on point, and basically just you know fight for it. You know, don't get discouraged. And just keep pushing forward and forward, and you're gonna get it for sure. It's this is it's not about a thing whether if you're lucky or not, or whether if I can do it or not. It's just how perseverant you. Because you know we all start from a place, and it might not be the greatest, but you're gonna get there. It's just all the work that you put into it that's what's up so work hard and fight for it and you'll get that's it that's what's up that's what's up before you get up out of here david garcia says he don't think you're from puerto rico so i need what i need you to do uh sire I, I need you to I, I need you to i need you to hit something off in your native tongue right quick prove prove this prove this guy where you from Que pasa, Boricua? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Uh, give, like, give, me no, no, give me a little bit. No, no, Shire. Don't, 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 don't give me that. Don't give me that little bit. Give me a little bit more. Give, give me some more of that native tongue. Oh, my goodness. Uh, ¿Cómo están, mis amores? Espero que estén bien. Que tengan un día hermoso. Y que, pues... Que trabajen mucho y ganen mucho, porque para eso es que nos estamos fastidiando. Sí, so, sí. Que tengan un bello día. Sí, I don't know what she's saying, David. She could be cussing your ass out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. She is definitely from Puerto Rico, man. I And I, I love the accent. I love the uh, native tongue. Man, just, woo. Man, it's, yeah, let me get my mind out. All right, Shire, thanks for coming on. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me on the Lockout Man podcast show, you can do that. You can hit me up in the Gmail. That's uh, Lockout Man, at, I mean, Lockout Man podcast at gmail.com. Or you can come over to the Instagram and hook me 
I mean, hook up with me over there. Hit me in the DM. Say, yo, lock out. I want to come on. I want to chop it up. Uh, Michael Watts. I sent out a request to him. Uh, I sent out a request to him, and he hasn't gotten back to me yet. So, you know, brother man, don't chase nobody. If you, you, you already, you already, like, in Instagram, you can see when they, when it says seen, and they, they actually seen the, the invite, and they don't respond, then, yeah, brother man, don't chase him. So, but he, he do got good content over there, though. He, he do got good content. As I was saying, uh, if you like this content over here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. Hit that all button and make sure that you get all the inf I mean, get all the stuff that I come out with. I'm trying to speed it up in my head. So I probably might want to slow it back down. If you guys want to hook a brother up with some coffee, do that with the cash app, uh, dollar sign lockout men or the coffee app or whatever. Hook a brother up. I'm thirsty up over here. Uh, on that note, I'm about to get played out. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that's being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, listening. And just thank you in general. And on that note, we are out of here. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back at y'all with another video. Peace.